Hell on off to the bitch. one to the other, then I don't know what it is because I don't have enough momentum. Land in that corner and get stuck there because yeah, well, that the corner out. sucks. just there to mess you up the thing. you way over there and it messes up your jump bar. No, I was trying to go way over there. I was trying to kick off the other wall, which would give me 
a little bit more momentum. I'm just saying, it also screws up your jump arc by doing that, because it pushes you back, so even your full kick isn't giving you as much as you think it would. Yeah, I'm getting an upward thrust from the second one, too, but it's just making me land further up on the wall. When I get that upward thrust. <laughs> Sometimes it just throws me down. And other times I'm close enough to the middle where it's just like, I don't know you. Did nothing. You're not my ball. Nope. <laughs> Was not. I think the closer to it you are, the farther or the stronger the push. with the physics of this thing because you don't get the slide. <laughs> No fly wrench. See, you definitely got more upward motion there. That was stupid.
because he have the bandages for the wolf zones. didn't have bandages. Yeah, no, they didn't. Thank goodness. Because I think you have all bandages on every world before this already. Apparently the kid was in these levels, because I just went over to a warp zone that was labeled... Oh, the guy. guy. Yeah. There's a the kid-themed DLC for this game. Why? <laughs> That's it. That's the question. Why? You say it like I have any kind of answer. <laughs> yeah, the um, Super Meat Boy DLC, The Kid's Christmas, which has its own bandages. these warp is getting a little bit vindictive. Just a little bit. Zone of Snickers. Yeah, because the other thing that's annoying is that, again, you have to do three of them in these. Which I find obnoxious. Definitely one of the worst features of the game. Huh. The three life limit on. Okay, as long as I can get through this first one, my lives are restock. Yeah, and then you get to learn the second one. Yep. <laughs> Sarcastic, how hard could it possibly be? charging head first and you can take each challenge a little quicker unless it has a forced wall like in the last one. Yeah. But all of the last ones had forced walls of death. And Bob. You know, from accounting. How disappointing. Yeah, 
I know, right? You think an accountant would know better? But not Bob. It has the jaws being right in the middle of it. It makes sense with all the teeth on the walls. Sounds kind of jazzy. Bikes are basically teeth for your balls. And your clothes. Wall teeth. Yeah. I disagree with you. There's definitely a reason that a lot of people haven't completed all of the exits in this game, huh? There might be a couple reasons. I don't even know if this one's been finished, or whether it's just been unlocked. It has... Is there a way to I don't know that there is. I also think you can select the worlds without going all the way back like that. But I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I don't even know if this one's ever been finished. I doubt it. This doesn't seem like one Shin would have bothered to complete. Someone moved upstairs. Shouldn't. Yeah, Shouldn't probably wouldn't have finished it, and if I had finished it, I would have made sure that I had left it with the bandages. Someone spiteful, who had more spiteful than they did self-preservation. Video game logic, it, it happens because it's a video game. But at the same time, if you think like in the video game. I mean, they could have put the key there and then put the spikes there afterwards. Fair? I mean, you gotta keep in mind this is a place where the keys float. But only sometimes. Some have gravity. Did it. You got the key. Got all the keys. Okay. 